flip the script just four <laughs> days after being shut out. They score the most amount of points oh, in Raiders God. history. Welcome <laughs> into Raiders Wee. Game Day, everybody. I'm Amber Theo Harris along with James Jones and Eric Allen. Man, what a tale Man. of two different games. The Raiders were embarrassed just four days ago. They were not going to let that happen again, and they turned around and they embarrassed the Chargers with a 63-21 to win at Allegiant Stadium. <laughs> National TV, <laughs> Thursday night football, yeah. and now they improved to 6-8, and eight, and more importantly are still in the AFC yeah. wildcard race with this win. But, I mean, everybody scored a touch. I think everybody on the team scored. Everybody you get a touchdown. You get a touchdown. You get a touchdown. We had two defensive <laughs> touchdowns. We're going to break yeah. it all down for you. But, yeah. uh, EA, what Fred Blitnikoff even got in the end zone. Blitnikoff yeah. you know, you know. will catch it fast uh, again. I love it. Short week. Uh, I think both football teams had a lot to play for as far as making sure the momentum in their locker room mm -hmm. uh, showed on the football field how you're going to prepare for this game. And the Raiders clearly out class the Chargers in a rivalry type of game. Yeah. So surprising. But I love the fact that they leaned on Aiden O'Connell. The, the, the playbook looked like it was open. A lot of crazy, good little uh, little uh, changes of pace there. Just really love the way they were able to get after it. Yeah, and there's no better feeling than bouncing back. Mm -hmm. You know, because I mean, I've had bad games. I'm sure you had bad games. Yeah. And you bounce back as an individual. <laughs> but a team to bounce back yeah. like this, this is big time. I mean, you came from scoring zero points. Yeah. And you Zero. put up 63 <laughs> points. I mean, the offense had it cooking. They were really aggressive uh, from start one to even when they was up 63. <laughs> had 63 points. They still was aggressive. It was fun to watch. This is this was much needed for the Raiders. Well, now they're averaging a little over 31 points over the last two games. Let's look at it that yeah. way. Let's <laughs> divide it up. They're just, they're just a lot of games up for this one. Yeah. Right, we're going to be covering a lot here, but three big things we're going to take a look at. Aiden O'Connell, you can't say enough about that young man. He was getting killed after scoring zero points against the Vikings, and then he bounces back, has a huge game. Trey Tucker, the rookie, gets two touchdowns, his first two of the NFL. We're going to talk to him. And Michael Mayer, another rookie. The rookies were killing it tonight. Yep. Michael Mayer, huge in the red zone, had a touchdown as well. Let's get you to the action. There's a lot of highlights. And Antonio Pierce looking for his third win as head coach there you go. of the Raiders. On their opening drive, they were looking strong. Oh, first and 10. Here. Zamir White in for Josh Jacobs, who was injured. Picks up eight yards. He's then yeah. they hit Devontae Adams on the play action pass. This is the way the offense is supposed to look. football. Show that play action pass. Ah. Lead that fullback up there. Brings the linebackers. And you got that hole. Taking what the off defense gives you. That's it. And they were eating up the clock here on this first possession. Three plays later, it's third and ten. Aiden O'Connell finds Michael Mayer, who fights his way down to the Chargers. One yard line. Sets up a first and goal for the Raiders. Next play, Zamir White punches it in from one yard out. That is his first <laughs> touchdown in the NFL. Uh, side to uh, side. Uh, hey, there it is. And the Raiders take a lead. Great push Seven up front. Uh, 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 uh. Get it. Get it. <laughs> All right, uh -oh. the next possession for the Chargers, ah, second and ten, and the strip sack fumble recovered by another rookie with a big play. Tyree Wilson comes up with it. Watch this pass rush <gasps> move outside. <gasps> oh, go. really focused on the upside oh, arm of the God. tackle. Great job by Coons. Continue to get better and better each and every week. I tell you, Coons has been balling. He has He's been, been quite a player for this yep. team. The pressure that he continues to bring every game. Raiders next possession, Aiden O'Connell oh, down the field to the speedster, Trey Tucker. Oh, the yeah. toe drag swag, even though it wasn't really drag. <laughs> uh, I don't know. No. It's that attention that Devontae brings, leaves you one-on-one -on, -one on a safety, and we all know the young fella just told us <laughs> he threw his hand that he up can on run it. like that. He threw his you hand know, up on it. James, you in trouble. That's big time play. Rookie's first touchdown of the year. Congratulations. Yeah. So the Raiders are up 14-0 in the first quarter. Chargers next play after the touchdown in. Give us Marcus that. Epps mm. forces a fumble. I tell you, Epps is a banger. I say it all the time. It's recovered by Jerry Tillery. Take That's another an look. That's excellent play right here. You know you got him wrapped up. Yep. Give me the ball. That's big time play by the defense right there. Defense rolling again. And yep. Butler, you know, getting him down and then Epps pulling it out. Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah. Big time play by the defense right there. Turning this into short fields for your offense, helping them out. 
and the offense comes back. AOC that's to Jacoby, a that's a dimer right there. Our right dot, like the little be. kids say nowadays. That's, that's a, a dot, dot that's right a there. That's dot. a new word. Ooh, that's Thank a, that's a new one right there. That's a speech, dot AJ. right there. Ooh wee. Kids say it's a dot. Dime is old people. Yeah. Twenty-one nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that anymore. All right, let's go to the second quarter here. Some special teams. Raiders are punting, and we haven't had a big play from special teams in a while. But watch DJ Turner here. Give me that. Give me that. Strips it out. Fumble recovery by DJ Turner, and I'll tell you, special teams makes a difference when they can create these kind of plays and give the ball back to the Raiders' offense. I'm going to tell you what, though, um, the Chargers, I mean, we know they ain't going to get a day off, but they need a day in the weight room because it looks like they just got bullied <laughs> today by the Raiders. Another great call by Bobo, dialing it up. I'm going to ask Michael Mayer about that. Walk We're going to talk to him a little bit later in the show because he was wide open. Wide just, open. There was nobody near him. Yeah. Going back to this formation. Raiders lead 28 to, 28 to nothing. We're only in the uh, second quarter here. here. Later in the quarter, there's Adams, 24 yards. That's what that slant was yep. supposed to look like last week. That's it. Right? Got to be a little more patient if yep. you're the quarterback. But we have the run game going now. Yep. Everything's available. First and 10. Trick play up. Jacoby Myers to Devontae Adams. Nine yards. First down. You made a great point about this, Yeah, JJ. that's good chemistry right there, man. Receivers, we always on the same page with the receivers. Devontae sees him. 30 yards off, I'm just gonna stop right here. Ain't Wildcat, me. here we go. Now this right here, the receivers, everybody, this is big Brandon time. Bolden. Big old line coming out there, moving people out of the way. Just That's 26 a, yards. Everybody's involved. Yes. How many people are involved in this game? Yeah, it's our time, let yeah. them know. The Raiders lead 35 to nothing with that touchdown. Five touchdowns on offense in the first half of a game. It's the first time they've done it since 1972. <laughs> <laughs> this was a historic game for the Raiders. I was Chargers that game. with I was the ball. That. Austin Eckler rushes to the middle, but uh, nothing. Diablo and Jerry Tillery on a fourth and one. Turn it over on downs. This defense has been playing lights out. And this D-line, though, this D-line has been stepping up playing. It ain't a lot of holes to run through. This D-line been playing big-time football, allowing those linebackers to come downhill and hit them. Raiders right. take over with under a minute left. Aiden O'Connell again to the speedster. Trey Tuck, he'll beat them every time. Yep, and that's what you it's all about it right there. Him. This is an aggressive right. play call again. And this is just running away from the safety slash corner. Like, this, this is uncomfortable right here. I like the fact uh. that he's throwing him open. Yeah. He's throwing to where you can Throw use that speed. Yeah. yeah. Raiders lead 42 to nothing. <laughs> 42. And half. look at us, we though. Still we're standing in the ground, we're still throwing that ball. We've seen this play about four times. Uh, so, obviously, he sucked the linebackers up, hit that uh, middle right inside behind him. Next play, Zamir White did a nice Ooh. job today, filling in for Josh Jacobs. Yeah. 15 yards on that run. First down, Raiders. Later in the drive, we're Raiders still aggressive. <laughs> Again, Jacob, uh, they're that. just like getting cocky at this. Yeah. It's like a mouse playing with a, a, a cat playing with a mouse at this point. I love it. I love it. Uh, Three, yeah. There you go for the touchdown. Easy work. Throw to you, and I throw to you. <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> hey, this is what you do to a rival. All right, this is what you so, do to a rival. Yeah, embarrassing. Raiders yeah. Need four, no, you don't take your foot off the gas. 49 nothing. Then look, they let them have one. Ah. They let them have one. It's the busted cup. Garbage right time. There. They were shutting them out, though, yeah. until the third quarter. That's too and easy. so Joshua Palmer goes That's too seven, easy. 79 yeah, that's too yards. Easy. Must be coverage right there. Jumping way ahead in the quarter. Here comes Malcolm. Here he comes. Strips. Pick it up, big dog. Here we go. Kick rubble. those legs up. Uh, look at uh, it. Uh, uh, that's four I'm running Watch right there. Watch him throw the ball in there like I score a touchdown. <laughs> 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 big dog, I see you, man. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Malcolm Coons. You know they edge. clocked him. Keep up, keep up, keep did working. They clock him. Keep they working. clocked him. And what did they clock him at? 17 miles an hour, baby. And that got to be a lie right there. <laughs> <laughs> look like he's going that three miles, miles per hour. Miles an hour. <laughs> That's what Amazon said. <laughs> and so the Raiders <laughs> seek a 56 to 7. How fast look, Max going there? Look at, look at AP. <laughs> I love this right here, though. This Everybody likes to see the big man rumble right there. Look at that sideline. That's big time. All right, so and the it. Chargers. Oh, my oh. God. Play of the year. Oh, man. That's play of the year. Accepted. Let's hey. watch him break on the ball. The Tune second. in to the ESPYs whenever oh, the ESPYs is. Goodness. You're going to see that for player of the year. One hand. Everybody jump One on handed. That Mac Jones is going to be a great addition. Yeah. He's already proven to be a great addition. Yeah. To this team. Look at that. From another mother. You wow. know all us Joneses. We know how to catch. <laughs> we know how to go get the ball. All, all, all the know Joneses what do. Joneses know what we're doing. Uh, and so Antonio Pierce gets the win. The Raiders win this one 63 to 21. But look at some of these stats. As I said, third down. 
The Raiders on third down, they were over 50% converting. Didn't turn the ball over in offense. They had some huge chunk plays in the yard, uh, uh, in the air, and then on the ground, 124 yards rushing. Meanwhile, we always look at those turnovers. That's how you yeah. know who won the game. Five turnovers. Five of them bang. The defense forced five turnovers. So for the second week in a row, it's not even a week, it's four days yeah. apart, second week in a row, this defense mm. continues to be, a, I know they often scored 63 points, we'll get to that in a minute, yeah. but yeah. the defense almost shut out the Vikings yeah. four days ago. Then they turn around, yes, they gave up 21 points, but they were shutting them out until the yeah. third quarter, and it was kind of garbage yeah, yeah. points at the end. Yeah. And it's not just Max Crosby, mm -hmm. because if you look at what that offensive line, like Rashawn Slater, um, and I forget the other tackle's name, that was able to really kind of contain yeah. Max yeah. somewhat. It was the other guys that stepped up. Yeah. It was Malcolm Kuntz, it was Adam mm -hmm. Butler, yeah. uh, it was the interior lineman of, of Tillery. Yeah, this man. defense has really proven uh, Spillane yep. continues to be a Right. What you, what you want, guys, is you want someone other than Max to show up every week. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes it's Coos, sometimes it's this guy. But we've been seeing Malcolm yeah. play some really good football the last couple of weeks, throwing Spillane there every couple of weeks. He has big-time plays. Today was a great run stopper. Then on the back end, you have Epps. And now you have J.J. on the corner. Yeah. So that's what you want as My a defense. JJ. You want a defensive line to be just dominant. You want your middle guys, that second level, to have someone who's a banger, right? And you on the back end, you want guys to break on the football, guys who can attack in the middle of the football field. We've seen that for two weeks in a row. That is great progress for our guy, Patrick Brown. And not only that, you put all that together, EA. Mm -hmm. See ball, <laughs> ball. And we are ripping at the ball. I mean, yeah. it's, it's every hat to the ball, and they are swiping at it, ripping at it, punching at it, all of that, but you can tell it's a point of emphasis. You can tell that's who this defense is. We have to get takeaways. And these last four or five weeks, Man. my goodness, they have been <laughs> taking the football away. They've been aggressive on the defensive side of the ball. Young players stepping up. This defense has been fun to watch, and we've been waiting on it. Yeah, we have been. All right, so the Raiders still in the hunt in the AFC for the playoffs with the win. We're going to talk to Trey Tucker. When we come back, he's standing by. That young man had two touchdowns two in this game. Next. Raiders game day is brought to you by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, non-stop flights, book now only at Allegiant.com. Cox, proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation, made to chill. 2023 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado, celebrate responsibly. The Raiders improved to six and eight with a big win over the Chargers. It was a huge night for the rookies and none bigger than Trey Tucker, who had two touchdowns on the night. We welcome him in now from Allegiant Stadium. And Trey, just take me through the emotion of getting not just your first NFL touchdown, but your second NFL touchdown in the same night. Man, it's like I said, I'm blessed, man. Um, it, it, it's crazy, you know, because, you know, I, I I had some you know opportunities throughout the season and the preseason and you know I just either didn't finish or didn't come down with them so um, for me you know it's it's a big stepping stone and you know it's it's kind of a credit to my hard work that I put in throughout weeks and weeks so uh, to kind of see it come out today um, like I said it's a blessing. You know, um, I was in the receiver room with Coach E.B., and he always used to tell me, "Come on, Hoss, you know it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna come, you <laughs> you gonna get it," but. Uh, my rookie year, man, I didn't score till week eight or nine. And I'm like, man, I got to get in the end zone, man. Like, you know, it just felt like a monkey was on my back. How does it feel to finally get that number one? Because you know they come in bunches after that first one. As you can see, you had two today. But how did it feel to get that first one off your back? And they say, hey, touchdown good. Man, it felt great. You know, obviously, you know, uh, the guys would joke with me all season, especially EB, man. That's my guy. <laughs> Shout out to him, you know. You know, he'd always be like, you know, he'd say what he did when he played in the league. Yep. And I'd be like, man, I, I can't really say nothing because I haven't scored a touchdown yet. So, um, <laughs> and uh, it, it's, it's great, man. And it's funny because Tay actually just said the same thing. He said, you know, when you get your first one after that, they just come in bunches. You know, after that, it's just like free game. You know what I mean? So, to have two in one night, man, like, it's pretty special. There it is. Trey, talk to us about the experience so far. This up and, uh, The season's been kind of up and down and uh, have a performance like this tonight after what happened last week. Talk a little bit about where you are right now. 
Um, you know, I would say for me personally, man, uh, you know, rookie year, you know, it, it's it's an up and down year starting from when you're in the draft process. So for me, you know, I just kind of learned how to adapt to all of it. You know, every week's a new week. You know, um, I feel like I learn something every week. Like I don't know everything, you know, like these vets do. So for me, just, you know, staying true to what, you know, I, staying true to who I am and, you know, staying true to what got me here, you know, which is hard work. So, um, like I said, just been – it's definitely been ups and downs, but um, obviously with the coaching changes and stuff like that. But um, I would say for me personally, I'm handling it well. Trey, I think we're kind of onto something here. We know how fast you are. We look at other offenses like Tyreek Hill and the Dolphins and what they can do. And now we're seeing this combination of your speed mm -hmm. and the young rookie quarterback yeah. that can throw the ball down the field. I think three of the touchdowns were 23 yards or more. Will we see more of these these big explosive plays? Is this is this offense capable of that more so than we thought before? Now we're seeing it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's like obviously we got the best wideout you know in the league, so you know it kind of helps a lot you know with taking the tops off defenses because you know he draws a lot of coverage. So, but yeah, for sure. I mean, we said it all week we wanted to be explosive. I feel like last week we didn't push the ball down the field at all, and um, obviously in the NFL you got to be able to do that. So that, that's why you know those guys over at Miami they're really good, and um, I studied a lot of Tyreek Hill. Obviously, you know similar type, you know, so just kind of understanding how he does things and kind of applying it to my game. And um, when they put certain stuff in here for me, um, just go out there and execute. Well, you know, my brother, playing for Edgar Bennett, you know, he gets, he, he gets all right when you score a touchdown. <laughs> but what he really get juiced about is when you put them hands on people and you block. And that block you had on Derwin James <laughs> to spring my dog for that touchdown, that's one that's, that EB going to be proud of. Man, just take us through that play and that block. That's a big boy. You know how he, yo, yo, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, how, that, that's how he is, yo. But, um... You know, man, that, that's how he is. He's a, he, you know, he, he's a dog mentality, man. He doesn't like us to wear sleeves, yep. you know, anything like that. You know, he was a running back. So, yeah. um, for him, you're right, man. He got more excited about that than my touchdowns, okay. you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, that's all, that's all he kept saying. Hey, hell of a block, hell of a block, hell of a block. You know, I don't think, I don't remember what he said to me on the, scoring a touchdown, but that's how he is, man. Um, we, 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 we got some things going on in the receiving room, you know, little things, you know. So, um, it, it'll be definitely cool to see when we go and watch the film, his reactions then, because he'll probably replay that same play probably for about 15 minutes. <laughs> and it'll show up on all his clips, so. Um, yeah, for he'll, sure. he'll, 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 he'll be enjoying that one for a few weeks. I love it. Uh, are you our fastest Raider? Mm. Oh, 100%. What's, what's, that, what's, that 40 time, what's that 40 time looking like? <sighs> yeah, listen. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a type of person. Look, I'm a type of person. Just look at my look at my look at my track record. Okay, you know, I had eight state championships, 10-4. You know, I just okay. You know what I mean? The, lining up against dudes who who say they run this. You know, well, yeah. you know, for me, it's just like. You got to see me. You got the you know fresh hamster. There you I go. I don't know. I don't know. John Jenkins might challenge you because he hit 17 miles an hour. He hit 17 miles an hour on that one. I don't know, man. Tay, Tay had, you got to ask Tay. He, he got some words about that one. But you got to check the GPS because he might be faster than some of the people in our receiver room. So we'll have to see about that one. Just one last question. Uh, you guys have, it's almost like you don't want this mini buy coming up with the energy coming off of this game. How do you sustain this energy? energy through that time off and get ready for the Christmas game against the Chiefs? I think, um, you know, when we played them, we, we you know, we started out, out of the gates fast. So I think we kind of know the, the you know, the importance of this game. And um, it, it's a, like you said, it's a mini bye week. So it'll actually be good because it'll, it'll allow us to get some guys back who weren't healthy. And it's like another, you know, mental pause that we got a three game stretch here. And, you know, we kind of control what we want to do and what, what the things that we said that we wanted to do. So um, it'll be good. We'll, we'll probably do some bonding stuff with the team. You know, obviously it's victory. So we'll do a little something and, you know, kind of take a day or two here and then, you know, get right back to it. Well, Trey, it's so fun seeing you fly down the field and catch those passes. Keep it up, and we hope to see it against the Chiefs. Good job, Hoss. Keep going, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo. Yes, sir. Yeah, appreciate yo. it. That's Thank EB you. Right Thank there. you. <laughs> That's Good right stuff. There. Thanks, Trey. Thanks a lot. We appreciate you. Thanks. It's exciting to see him grow, but it's exciting to see all of the rookies because this was a performance. It's about the future. Yeah. It's not just about still being in the hunt for the playoffs. Mm -hmm. It's about what do we have for the future. No and this rookie class showed us today that we have a lot, and it starts with Aiden O'Connell. Yeah. Aiden O'Connell had 120 passer rating. Mm. 120. Yeah, 120. He threw four touchdowns, okay. and what, three of them were 23 yards or more. I'm wondering, EA, or JJ, you can answer it yeah. too. 
Without Josh Jacobson, mm -hmm. like the pressure to keep feeding the running back and establish the run was gone. And I'm, I'm not saying that they, sh they right, should do right, that right, when you yeah. have the number one rusher in there. But did we see a little bit of a different identity that's possible with some speed on the field, mm -hmm. as I asked Trey about, and some bigger plays that we were kind of lacking when we we're always trying to force Josh the ball? Yeah. Well, go ahead, Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I would say to that, I hope the game plan doesn't change much when you have a defense like this. Now, we can't just jump on and say we can play like this against the Chiefs or against those better defenses. That was one point. I think the defense gave us opportunities to have some of these plays. So you're going to be in 11 personnel a little bit more. But I hope when Josh comes back, you're able to find a way to have Josh on the field, obviously, in that speed. And I think yeah. that's really the factor, JJ. Well, I think what I see today offensively is even when Josh comes back, let's stay aggressive, right? The young fella showed you today, even without Josh Jacob, if you dial up some of these plays and stay aggressive and let him take some shots down the football field, he showed that he can make some of these throws. Obviously, everything was good today. The pocket was clean. Protection <laughs> was good. He was able to step into these throws. It's not always going to be like that. But the whole game... Bo was aggressive, right? Whether he was moving them, whether he was dialing up some of these plays, he was aggressive calling plays, play action pay, plays, and especially when you have Josh back there, it's going to be another guy in the box because they know you are trying to run the ball. So I would like to see him stay aggressive and put the ball in number four's hands a little bit more. And this graphic says it right. The future is bright. These are all rookies that have good performances tonight. Tyree Wilson, we just saw the highlight of the fumble recover. He continues to grow on defense. Our first round draft pick, Ja'Korian Bennett, fourth round draft right. pick. He uh, is improving. Remember, struggled at times early in the season when he's getting opportunities. But seeing the offensive weapons that could be here in Vegas for a long time is yeah. exciting. The evaluation of Aiden O'Connell yeah. still does continue. Yeah, it does. You know, because remember, does. we can't take away the last game. No doubt. Right. And, and as, as Antonio Pierce said in the press conference after that Vikings game, he's a rookie. There's going to be ups and downs, ups and downs. And they had an opportunity to move yeah. away from him. Remember, that we, he didn't yeah. name who was going to start. Yeah. Right. right. We didn't know who was going to start until about 90 minutes before the game. Yeah. Yeah. There wasn't a vote of confidence. But... All along, we were saying he should stay. Yes. We think he should stay with oh, Andrew O'Connor no. yes. because you're going to have a bad game and yeah. then give him another up. He had a huge game. And, and not only are the players being evaluated right now, the coaching staff is being evaluated. So that's a big point right now that uh, this coach staff was able to, in short week, mm -hmm. get this team to really function, play well, have some changes here and there in the in the playbook. I really love the way this football team came out and performed today. Yeah, and we don't know what the Raiders is going to do at the quarterback spot. They could draft one, they could bring in a veteran, but for AOC, it's all about going out there balling and playing at a high level. Whether you coming into this season as a starter or whether you coming into this season as the backup, at least the Raiders know your rookie year, you can play football, and eventually it is going to be your time, whenever it may be. Could be next year, could be two years, could be one year, but he just has to go out there and keep on checking checking these boxes like he did today, yeah. balling, and it's going to be tough for the Raiders to say, hey, we drafted one really hard. We're bringing in a veteran if he continues to play this way. Yep. All right, we're going to take a break here on Raiders game day. When we come back, I'm still wondering about that John Jenkins comment. Look at him! Who in the receiver room is slower and than John Jacob Trey said? There's me? somebody in the receiver room. He must be talking about me. I don't know. <laughs> JJ and EA are going to break down some stuff for us when we come back. AP was loving it. Hi, I'm Malia Jaime. I go to Shadow Ridge High School and I play corner on defense for flag football. I currently help volunteer working with young students in the volleyball program. I love doing community service. I love giving back to the community and helping out, especially the younger kids. I work with NCSA. There we're able to help ref kids and teach them about the game and show how much we love the game and you get to see their faces and how they love the game as well. I think it's really important because these younger generations, they get to look up to you and you kind of be a role model that they may not have. Thank you Intermountain Health and the Raiders for this amazing opportunity. Go Raiders. Welcome back. While the Raiders made history tonight by scoring 63 points against the Chargers, it's the Raiders' defense that continues to shine. The good news, though, is that it's not just Max Crosby making the big plays. And then on the other side of the ball, as far as the offense is concerned, they proved they can be a downfield threat. To talk about both sides, let's turn it over to James and EA. 
Appreciate it, Amber. Well, you do know defense is cool. EA is cool. <laughs> but if you don't score points, you don't win. Point blank period. And today, we put up 60 trillion <laughs> things on these boys. But let's start it off right here. I love it. Bo, offensive coordinator, aggressive. You put trips to the right. You have to be able to account for all three receivers. You got your speedster, Trey Tucker, in the slot, running away. But look at the safety. Yeah. Goes over here to numero uno, one, <laughs> seven, and you got one on one. And Derwin James cannot keep up with the young fella. He told you the fastest on the Raiders. Derwin James <laughs> didn't know that. Now, listen here. This is what I love right here. Great design by yeah. both. Tighten the split down by Jacoby right here. Leave oh. him all this field out here to be able to go out here and make a play. And what love else it. it does, EA, love is it. keep him away from this safety right yeah. here because that's a long way for that safety to travel right there and that Man, is a dot that like is, the kids say not right. a dimer that is a dot right there creativity and then today. the same thing creativity right here you see Bo again we tighten these splits down you got Tay coming on the shallow cross and you got Trey going down the middle of the field on that beeline skinny post and that's a touchdown flex on him young fella what let him know you did ball. In but listen outside leverage we going in anyway it does not matter and this is just speed and I love how how he gets vertical right here, like I'm about to go vertical, right. and he puts the foot in the ground. Once again, safety eyes on Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams making an impact in the game <laughs> even when he don't there get you the go. ball. And yes. that's big time offense right here. So he should be thanking Devontae, but <laughs> he also should be thanking EB because that's an excellent route right there by the rookie technician. And then right here, this is just, hey, we slapping y'all already. So we just going <laughs> to slap y'all a little bit more trickery. Hey, throw to you, and you throw to him. And it's a touchdown. Tay rips it away like a rebound. This is just getting tricky. But you got to get tricky inside the red zone because yeah. it's hard to score in there, right? We got a receiver that got an arm. We got a quarterback that got an arm. And we got one. They're coming to get him, though. They're coming to get him. They're, They're coming, coming to get him. him. Uh -huh. <laughs> the trick is on you. But offense, big time day for the offense yeah. going out there, putting up a bunch of points. And not only that, when the defense got turnovers, they turned it into touchdowns, not yeah. physical. Yeah, short field. I love the creativity. Today Absolutely. from Austin side of the ball did an outstanding job, no but defense yeah. for the second week in a row <laughs> Talk about it. came to make yeah. some plays and no welcome doubt. to the scene Jack Jones. I mean, just really put it down when you talk about a young cornerback trying to make his way to National Football League. This is all about film preparation That's right it. here. Understanding where your leverage is. Look at that. Yeah. We're getting after him. Yeah, I ain't, gonna say, I ain't gonna say oh, names, yeah. but that's what the other one was hey, doing. Hey, I'm telling yeah. you, Jack Jones is here to stay yeah. right now, trying to be the best corner on our football team. Look at this. Jam. We're gonna take on the receiver, yep. use our hands, get up off me, shed, find a way to oh make some plays. Gosh. You're not getting the first down. You're not getting the first down. That's big time you know right what? There. I do it all. I'm a complete yeah. defensive back. One more time. We're going to circle you up, right? No I understand where my leverage is. Mano -e -mano up Great there. back pedal here. You know what? Long ball, I'm going to squeeze. Oh, and still, what? Still I'm going to run the route for still you. Still on top. That's what I do. That's easy Because I prepare and I study that's and I understand time. what's expected Ooh. of me. And on this last one here, there, right? one more time. Yeah. Preparation on all of them. Uh, Not only Jack, uh, and this is a great play. Look at the linebackers. Ah, we know what you're running. Oh, but look give at that. Me that. That is an oh, my amazing goodness. Oh, my goodness. top one you, play this year from man. a defensive back. Just incredible reading the play, having enough confidence Ooh, to understand what's going on. Yeah. You see the blocker? Not hesitation here. Uh, I'm going to go on through, that's run past the ball. Yeah. Hey, Outstanding. I'm going to let you know right now. If, oh, if I was Jack, agent, I ain't right. playing no more games. <laughs> yeah, that's are. it. Yeah, you <laughs> are. You want to get to the playoffs. Hey, me. Yeah, you are. I ain't playing no more oh, games. Man. After what I just did Jack today, that's Jones. big time right that's there. Big time. That's big time. And he came through for Ooh. AP Something since he's known Jones. AP yeah. since he was 12 years old in Pop Warner. So great see job, that? See that right there? Great Something job. about them Joneses. Yeah, all about the Joneses. That's right. About all about the Joneses. Back to you, Amber. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Long Beach Poly. That's how far back AP and Jack Jones go. But take a look at what the Raiders defensive line and the pressure that they brought three sacks today they took the ball away five times six quarterback hits and two defensive touchdowns one was the spectacular uh, well both were spectacular yes do you, do you for like different reasons defensive linemen <laughs> running? Do you like one hand to catches both were spectacular but this is um this is quite a turnaround from what we were expecting earlier in the year. We kept talking about especially the interior uh, defensive line and the lack of push. Yep. Uh, we were talking about the Max Crosby kind of being on an island as the only pass rusher, and yeah. if you double team him, then it you could stop the the, the pass rush. Yeah. And now we're seeing Tyree Wilson uh, 
emerge. We're seeing Malcolm Kuntz, who nobody really expected anything from. Adam Butler, uh, Tillery had big plays. The de defensive line, and I don't know if they're just rubbing off from Max Crosby's. A little bit. Uh, yeah, they're personifying the leader there, but they deserve some credit. They do. Um, not just the line, but the front seven. Yeah, I think one really important key here is I think Coach AP challenged, particularly all the teams of linemen, to have the same energy as Max. Mm -hmm. And then a development of the linebacker core, because AP is, is intimately involved Ooh, in that. Look at that. Yeah. And, and Epps, his leadership, his veteran savviness uh, has really rubbed off. And the emergence of Jack, a guy who was always a crafty, a uh, really athletic player, mm -hmm. but as we saw in the highlights, being able to anticipate certain situation and plays will take you over the top. Yep. Those are the kind of plays you can make even if you're running a 4-5 later on in your career, if you're playing the game from the neck up. Yeah, and I see a lot of these young fellas taking pride in their one-on-one matchups. Mm -hmm. You know that with Mad Max Crosby over there, he's going to get a lot of this attention. It's about taking advantage of your one-to-one -one matchup. We showed offensively. We see all the coverage going to Devontae. Yep. Those other fellas got to win their one-on-one matchup. And defensively, especially on the defensive line, one-on-one -on -one matchups, they've been dominating their one-on-one matchups. And yeah. that's what's causing these tackles for loss, and that's what's causing these sacks for sure. You know what, though? In Amazon, the broadcast pointed this out, though that Trey Pipkins was doing a great job against Max Crosby mm -hmm. early in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Rashawn Slater was helping as well. Yeah. They were doing it, and the other guys stepped up. That was the so key, yeah. that we saw the other guys have those big plays early in the game, and then Max wore him down. That was his yeah. knee, by the way, that was bleeding. He's right, the toughest bit. dude yeah, on the planet. We're glad that he's a Raider. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, I can't wait to hear what happened inside that locker room. We're going to hear Coach's victory speech. What did AP have to say about his third win as Raider? Stay with me on this one. Just stay with me on this one. Stay with me on this one. Yeah, yeah, listen, this record. Eight different players with a touchdown, first time since 1950. Hey, and, and since, hey, since Tay, Tay knows history. Tay's really good at history. He said last week we was on the wrong side. Well, this week, goddammit, we're on the right side. 63 points, franchise goddamn record. Yeah. Hey, but look, hey, hey, just like we talked about, man, we started fast, we played, we executed, high level energy, everybody a part of it, man. Special teams, defense, offense, rookies, and guys getting moved up, it didn't matter, man. Everybody contributing, that's what we've been working for. Short-term memory, guys came back. Really, it started in practice, man. This, like I told y'all on Tuesday, that, shit was, that, that was critical, man, the way y'all came out and, and handled your business. And we didn't handle our business 48 hours later when we got here in the stadium. I'm proud of you. You guys have done it. It's coming tomorrow, but let's, let's do what we do. Let's do what we do, and it's like, it's like some goddamn Raiders and have fun doing it and talk our shit. Let's get a goddamn break. Here we go. Hey, listen, listen. Hey, y'all stay together, bro. We in four days. Everyone was hurt and everyone was going, and we talked about it all week, bro. Whoever wants it, is gonna go out there and take it, bro. They didn't want that. Shit. It's simple. Let's get it. Gang on me, gang on three. One, two, three. Gang! Can I get one, though? Can I get one? What are you trying one, to One, two, three. Raiders! There we go. <laughs> Look, he, he has a great point. Four days yeah. was was night and day. It looked like two different teams. And now they've got all the way until Christmas until they have to play again. And it's kind of good and bad. You want to keep the energy up. You don't want to lose that. But also, you know, Josh Jacobs didn't play. Andre James didn't play. Colton Miller didn't play. To get them healthy again. And look, maybe they make some noise in these last couple of games. Yeah. They, could be, they could be in it. But this was a historic... Uh, day for the Raiders and here are some of the things that they accomplished today. Well first 63 is our one big number. Dang that's crazy. The most points scored in team history. No I'm just thinking back to like Sunday when there was a red zero and now it's two green. Yeah our one big number that on Sunday was crazy. zero and now it's Damn. 63 
points. And look, when you have a young offense, you'll see that. Um, here is what they were able to achieve here in week 15. Most points scored in, in Raiders history. Largest halftime lead. They were at 42-0 at the break. Largest margin of victory against the Chargers in franchise history. Fourth team in NFL history to have eight different players score a touchdown. Eight Whoa. players! Think about that. Yeah. Eight players scored a touchdown. <laughs> Aiden O'Connell, his four touchdown passes, uh, passing touchdowns, ties a single game Raiders rookie record. So I think we were expecting better play because everybody was disappointed about yeah. the performance out of the bye. Um, we weren't expecting for them to go off like this, but I think we learned a lot about Aiden O'Connell today. We learned a lot about the future of this team and the resilience. And we learned a lot about Antonio Pierce. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yes. That more than anything, I think, yeah. that's what it was about. The coaching staff. How are you going to respond after having a week off because of a bye and the poor performance from last week, short week this week, and have another team across the yeah. field who's dealing with some of the same issues. Mm -hmm. Coaches in turmoil. Yeah. Injuries. Yeah. They really came out and like AP said in the in the meeting, like, hey man, we wanted it more than they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was clear. And that's why I mean, to be honest with you, that's why you really gonna have to take a strong look yes. at AP. Because it takes a special man to be able to motivate men, right? You watch this game, right? They starting quarterback out, our starting quarterback to back up, right? Our star running back out, they star receiver out. Or you heard Max get up there and say, hey. Who was going to tuck their tail <laughs> first, right? Both, both of us ain't got no winning records, but the Raiders came out here with more energy. They had something to prove, and that is a reflection of your head coach. Yes. And Brandon Staley did not have his boys <laughs> ready to play. Antonio Pierce did, and we got 60 <laughs> training them things ever. All right, we're going to take a break. And uh, Michael Mayer was a part of that 63-point yes, he contribution. Was. He's going to join the show next. He's ready to talk. This segment of Raiders Game Day has been brought to you by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. Welcome back. The Raiders offense unloaded on this one, scoring 63 points <laughs> on the Chargers. It's hard to even say that. It's so unreal. And a man that got in the end zone, a big part of that is the rookie tight end, Michael Mayer, as we welcome him in. And, Michael, I know that Antonio Pierce has given you victory speeches before, but what was this one like? We did what we were supposed to do. Uh, that's what we wanted to do coming into the game. That's what we prepared for all week. It was a quick week, short week. My first one in the NFL, so I kind of learned some stuff this week, and uh, it was good, man. We needed this. Our team needed this. Our fans needed this, and, and I'm really happy for us. You know, Mike, it's only very few times you're excited about a Thursday night football game in my years playing, and usually those times come off a very, very bad loss, right, or even a tough loss, and you're able to shift and hurry up and get to the next week. How good did it feel to go from scoring zero but able to wash that one down and hurry up and get back out here on the football field? I mean, you look at this game and you look at uh, Sunday, two complete different teams, right? Um, and that's kind of what we wanted to do. We knew what happened on Sunday wasn't us. Uh, it never has been, and it won't happen again. And so what you got to kind of do is you got to have a quick mind in terms of forgetting about things like that. So we played that game Sunday. We were back at it Monday preparing for the Chargers. And we knew what we had to do. We knew it's a rivalry. We knew it's a big game. Um, and so that's what we did. We had a quick mind, and, and we, we kind of put that in the past and, and looked forward. Well, Mike, you have another long week coming up. How can you sustain this kind of uh, effort, energy to, to get with the uh, Chiefs next week? Yeah, so we're going to look at this game. We're going to see what we really did well, what plays worked well against coverage, what runs worked well against certain fronts, things like that. Um, and, I, and I think that's kind of where it starts. Um, and number two, getting healthy, getting everybody back on their feet, um, really getting the body right, getting massages, taking ice baths, things like that. That's going to be big for me the next three or four days, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. We've talked a lot, you and I, about your relationship with Aiden O'Connell and you two kind of being able to grow up together in the NFL, coming in together, and the connection that you guys had for that touchdown. Take me through that play. Yeah, beautiful. Um, I, I was just talking with my tight ends coach, Jerry. That play we ran, we rep it all the time in practice, and it's all time. It works every single time. And uh, 
Jerry came up to me after. He's like, you can thank me for that one. I told Bo to call that one. And it's, it's a beautiful play. It works every time. Um, I mean, wide spanking open. And uh, it's an all-time great play. I'm, I'm really excited. Bo, Bo called a great game today. Got to give props to Bo. He called a great game today. Our offense really did what we were supposed to do. Talk to us a little bit about the growth of um, AOC because – Last week, well, Sunday, I can't even say last week, Sunday, <laughs> he, um, Four days ago. he threw an interception to Devontae Adams um, at the end of the game, and it looked like the same exact route and play that you ran right over the middle of the field and you was wide open on that play. Was that kind of something you talked about during the week? Like, hey, man, this couple of times I'm open right over the middle because it was really back-to-back thirds downs that he came to you on that exact same route and play. Yeah, look, I think it's 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 – a sort of thing where it, it's in the moment when you're playing the game and, and Ains out there trying to do what? He's trying to help this team succeed. He's trying to help this team get third downs and score touchdowns. So when you're in the middle of the game, we're not really having too much conversation of like, hey, throw me the ball, throw me the ball. You know, he's doing his thing. He knows what to do. He prepared the right way. And then after the game, it's really when we get to sit down, mm -hmm. watch the film, kind of communicate about it, talk about it, things like that. And um, look, I think he understood some things after the game Sunday, and um, he came out ready to play today. His confidence is just getting better and better. It's really helping the offense. It's really helping the team. I'm really excited for him. I'm really proud of him. Yeah. Give it a couple of years, and you'll be in the huddle on the third possession talking <laughs> about giving me the ball. So you go. <laughs> I remember you said that. <laughs> how yeah. how, how yeah. are you I, 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 <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, rookie year, you gotta kind of, you gotta kind of watch what no you're doubt. doing, yeah. watch what you're saying, things like that. Uh, when I get a little bit more comfortable, maybe I can say, yeah, throw me, throw me the, you know what, ball. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so looking at what this uh, offense was able to do, especially on third down, was that a big point of emphasis? I mean, you guys went from 21% on third down in the last game to 56%. How much in the short week was that a focus in practice? One of the biggest focuses all week long. Um, we know in order to score points, in order to put field goals and touchdowns up on the field, we need to get first downs. We need to convert on third. And I think the big thing with that is you don't want to be third and long. You don't want to be second and 14. Um, positive plays, positive yardage, three, four, five yards on runs. That's what we need to do. Zamir White did a great, great job tonight um, really doing that. I don't know how many negative runs we had, but it had to be a little. Um, and, and he does a good job with that. All right. Well, thanks so much for being here with us, Michael Mayer. And next time, try to get to the 70 mark. You didn't quite do what the Dolphins did. You fell a little short. So uh, you'll have a chance against the Chiefs in, in a little over 10 days. Thanks for being with us, and congrats on the win. Thanks so much for having me. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. When we come back on Raiders game day, Aiden O'Connell, who we've been talking about, he talks to the media next. Raiders game day has been brought to you by Twitch. Watch, discover, join in. Credit One Bank, the official credit card of the Las Vegas Raiders. Modelo, a reward for those with a fighting spirit. The mark of a fighter, drink responsibly. Jacoby had a QB rating of 131 tonight. Is he now an honorary member of the quarterback room this week? I, I definitely think so. I think it was even before um, tonight, Cobes is can really throw the ball. It really, you know, sometimes we try to tell him not to because it makes us look a little bad, but uh, he can roll out of bed and, and spin it and throw it pretty far. So, um, yeah, Cope's, I mean, the, the one double pass, he, like, it wasn't supposed to be like that, and t him and Tay just made a play. And, he, yeah, those guys are, are pretty fun to watch. It's pretty special just, you know, watching guys like that play football. All right, so they got six wins. They got to get up to nine, and maybe they make the playoffs. Kansas City Chiefs yeah. are coming up next on Christmas. That's at 10 a.m. Then the Indianapolis Colts on the road. That is uh, New Year's Eve. And then the Denver Broncos at home to round out the season. Will nine games be enough in the AFC, the way it looks? Who yes. knows, but we'll celebrate this yes. one. That's it. That's we got to right. think positive. 63 <laughs> to 21 <laughs> over the Chargers for James and Eric. I'm Amber. We'll see you. Have a Merry Christmas. We'll see you on Christmas Day.